Hi guys and welcome to Rin's Chef in Rin's Kitchen. Today we're going to prepare a snack, pumpkin seeds. So there's a previous video I showed you how to prepare pumpkin seeds and ground nuts. It should be somewhere here. Uh, but today I want to show you how to prepare pumpkin seeds alone, pekeake, stand alone, so that you can have it as a snack or you can blend it in that uh, juices you can you can blend it in the juices or the smoothies that you would like to have you can even use it uh, as a topping on ice cream or frozen yogurt or even cake so i hope you enjoy this recipe and i hope you definitely try it at home because pumpkin seeds are very healthy they have numerous health benefits like you hear in my previous video so welcome I hope you try this recipe at home because pumpkin seeds are very healthy as you can hear from my previous video and uh, you can use them as a snack you can have them as a snack you can use them in your smoothies or juices healthy healthy juices you can also use it as topping on your ice cream on your frozen yogurt on your cake depends with what you would like to have with it so everybody for the ingredients all you'll need are the pumpkin seeds and some bit of honey so guys about the honey if you need it you can always get in touch with me because I have pure very nice honey uh, and let's go back to the pumpkin seeds you see how dirty they are this should not be a problem because once you buy them this is how you get them all you need to do is remove the dirt then once you're satisfied that umetoa uchafu zote just make sure it's zenye zinaonekana any dust that is visible you have removed it Once you're done, all you need to do is soak them for about five minutes. They are very, very light. So if you soak, they absorb water easily. So you don't need to soak them for long. Just about five minutes and then you'll clean them. That's how you get them soaked. You keep them five minutes so that the at least could soak magic kidogo, magic so that we are able to clean them to touch You will see how, how they will look after cleaning them, after soaking them for five minutes. So we leave them set for. We'll give it a second wash. The washing procedure is just the same. And actually, you wash them until your water is clean. Then you'll be sure that your pumpkin seeds are very clean. So we'll just repeat the rubbing together process. Any impurities you see, make sure you remove them. Notice the difference in the color plus the water. Now we are almost sure, if not very sure, that our seeds are clean. So when you see them looking like this, know that your seeds are clean. I'm almost sure in other supermarkets, you can get them as clean as this. But I got them from a local store. That's why Zango Zilikazi no Kaivo. I'm also sure when you make them from home directly, you can get them dirty. Because it's all pumpkins direct now Ziweke. Maybe if you just remove them and prepare them immediately. If not, you'll need to clean them. So you see my water is clean compared to what we started with. Just get all of them out of the water. Then we can start preparing them. you're done cleaning your seeds 
The next step is to put them kwa pan on a frying pan on fire. It's an empty pan na? bila chochote. We'll just put them here. No water, no salt, no nothing, just the seeds. Once they are on the pan, we will let them cook. So you can leave them for a minute or two. At least zianze kuiva vizuri before you can start turning them. Don't just turn them immediately. They have a very nice natural scent. So you will just mix. all sides. Pole pole tu. Bila pressure. nicely as as much as you cooking unazisikia zikianza kutoa harufu poa so guys when you start uh, cooking when you just put them on fire and start turning they will stick at the bottom of the pan because they are wet. But the more you keep on cooking, zina kauka, they get dry. So, zina chilia. They stop sticking on the pan. You see? So now, you just have to keep on twisting and turning until, if not all, 99% of them are golden brown. So, that is exactly what we are doing or that is what we want to achieve. So, guys, the reason why we are doing this, first of all, is so that we get uh, the taste of roasted uh, pumpkin seeds. We get the original natural taste first before we can add anything on them. Someone would say you just mix the pumpkin seeds and the honey together, but I don't feel that gives them the taste that someone would desire or the smell that you would want to have at the end of the day. So that's why I choose to first fry my seeds before I can add the honey to them. We just fry them until unaona zimeiva vizuri. See, I'm almost through. Just give them a few more minutes, say two to three minutes. Because almost all of them are golden brown already. So guys, notice the color. You see, most of them are already golden brown. That means they are cooked. Tip, if you cannot stand pumpkins like this, just wait for the next process. Kama mimi mwenyewe, I really love pumpkin seeds, but I cannot have them this way. No, 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 no. Not as tasty as I'd want them to be. But let's just wait for the final process or so, formula <laughs> or style. Mm -hmm. So once is it Just open your honey. Alafu unamwagilia. Poor enough. Yenye itatosha depending on the seeds that you're making. You see mine are a lot. So that means I just have to put enough. A lot of honey. So, zimwagia to hivo. And then, you changanya. Well, they are still on fire. Mix the mouth vizuri to make sure pumpkins zote, all of them, all the pumpkin seeds are covered in honey. 
So once you're sure all of them are covered in honey, you give them a minute, then you put off your fire, let them cool before you can store them. Then we'll put off our fire and let them cool. Because anyway, it depends with where you want to store them. As for me, I want to store them in this plastic container. If they are hot, they tie choma. So that's why I have to let them cool for a while before I can store them. Thank you so much guys for watching. This has been Rinse Chef in Rinse Kitchen. I hope you try this snack at home. Very healthy, very beautiful, very tasty, very lovely. And you can use it in so many things. You can even use it in your food while you're preparing it. I'll show you how to use it in multiple ways. Hope you try this recipe at home. Thank you so much for liking. Please share, please subscribe, please watch my videos and follow. Please comment. Till next time. Bye-bye.